The month of April 2025 ended grimly. A shadow fell upon Pahalgam. Innocent lives were brutally extinguished. 26 tourists, victims of terror. The date was April 22nd. Cross-border malice showed its ugly face again. India's patience had worn thin, very thin, the nation demanded more than just words. India's response was swift, multifaceted. The Indus Waters Treaty was suspended. Pakistani diplomats were shown the door. Trade ties were immediately severed. Visas were canceled. A clear message sent. Economic levers were pulled hard. Diplomatic pressure mounted intensely. But this was only the beginning of the storm. The initial phase of Operation Sindor began. It was the night of May 6th, stretching into May 7th. Nine terrorist camps became primary targets. Lashkar e Taiba faced India's might. Jaishi Muhammad felt the heat too. Over 100 terrorists were eliminated, their havens were turned into dust. India was drawing a new line in the sand. The core of Operation Sindur unfolded dramatically. The date was May 10, 2025. Indian Air Force jets roared into action. They flew deep, over 300 kilometers. Hostile territory held no fear for them. Precision was the mission's guiding principle. Key Pakistani military aerial assets were targeted. This was a strike at the enemy's eyes and claws. The damage inflicted was substantial, crippling. A Pakistani Saab 2000 AWACS was destroyed. This aircraft was their eye in the sky. Its loss blinded their aerial surveillance. Two American-built F-16 fighter jets were neutralized. These were potent symbols of their air power. A JF-17 Thunder fighter jet also met its end. Their strike capability suffered a severe blow. The destruction did not stop there. One C-130J Hercules transport aircraft was hit. This impacted their logistical capabilities significantly. Pakistan's ability to retaliate effectively was hampered. The operation was surgical, precise, and devastating. Each target was carefully chosen for maximum impact. The message was clear. India could reach deep, and India could strike with impunity. The success of Operation Sindor rested on superior technology. Indian Air Force Rafale jets led the charge. These advanced fighters provided the cutting edge. Su-30 MKI jets played a crucial supporting role. Their combined capabilities were formidable. These platforms delivered a powerful punch. They represented India's modern air combat strength. The pilots showcased exceptional skill and bravery. The weaponry used was equally state-of-the-art. Scalp cruise missiles were deployed effectively. These long-range missiles found their marks. BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles were also unleashed. Known as the world's fastest, they were unstoppable. Their speed and power left no room for interception. These missiles are a jewel in India's arsenal. They exemplify indigenous defense prowess. These advanced missiles possessed critical capabilities. They were GPS-guided for pinpoint accuracy. Terrain-hugging flight paths helped evade detection. They could effectively dodge enemy radar systems. This ensured targets were hit with minimal collateral damage. The technology guaranteed mission success. It minimized risks to Indian pilots and aircraft. India's investment in defense tech paid off handsomely. Section 4, Iron Dome, Indian Steel, Defending the Nation. Pakistan, reeling from the strikes, attempted a response. They launched their counter-operation. It was codenamed Operation Bunyan al Marsus. Their intent was to salvage pride and retaliate. But they found India's defenses impenetrable. A wall of steel and vigilance met their efforts. Their counter-moves proved futile and ineffective. India was prepared for any eventuality. India's S-400 air defense systems were activated. These formidable systems were put to the test. They were activated 11 times during the crisis. Every incoming threat was successfully intercepted. No enemy missile or aircraft breached the shield. The S-400 proved its worth unequivocally. It formed the backbone of India's aerial defense. This system is a game-changer in modern conflict. Alongside the S-400, indigenous systems shone brightly. India's Akash Tier Air Defense Command System was deployed. It demonstrated remarkable efficacy. Against drones and incoming missiles it was flawless. A 100% kill rate was achieved by Akash Tier. This showcased India's maturing defense ecosystem. The integration of various systems was seamless. India's multi-layered air defense was truly robust. Section 5 Shifting Sands Geopolitical Tremors and New Alliances Operation Sindor sent ripples across the globe. It significantly altered geopolitical equations. India's new military doctrine was clearly demonstrated. 
a zero-tolerance policy towards terrorism was established. Retaliation would be selective, precise, and impactful. The message terror and talks cannot coexist. Neither can terror and trade or terror and treaties. This marked a definitive shift in India's strategic posture. International reactions to the operation were varied. France, Japan, and Israel offered strong support. Russia and Australia also backed India's right to defend itself. These nations understood the threat of terrorism. However, China, Turkey, and Azerbaijan urged caution. Their responses reflected their own geopolitical alignments. The United States' reaction was seen by some as underwhelming. Global powers recalibrated their views on regional stability. The economic and internal impact on Pakistan was severe. The operation reportedly worsened its fragile economy, inflation soared, and unemployment figures rose. Public outrage against their own establishment grew. The events renewed momentum for independence movements. Balakistan, Sindh, and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa saw unrest. Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Poj AK also stirred. The costs of sponsoring terror became starkly evident. Section 6. The Sindor Doctrine, Redefining India's Resolve. Operation Sindor offered profound lessons for modern warfare. It underscored the primacy of technological superiority. Precise execution is now paramount. Coordinated intelligence forms the bedrock of success. Sheer numbers alone no longer guarantee victory. Future conflicts will be swift, silent, and devastatingly effective. India demonstrated this new paradigm convincingly. The operation set a new benchmark for military action. India's evolving strategy reached a new zenith. The response to Yuri in 2016 was symbolic. Balakot in 2019 marked a more direct military answer. Operation Sindor in 2025 established cost imposition. It was about degrading the enemy's war-making machine. This proactive stance aims to deter future misadventures. India signaled it would not absorb endless provocations. The strategic calculus in South Asia has been altered. However, challenges in narrative control emerged. India's initial silence on some operational aspects was noted. This allowed space for misinformation to creep in. Controlling the strategic narrative is vital in modern conflict. Future operations will need to integrate this aspect more robustly. Clear, timely communication can shape global perceptions. It can also counter enemy propaganda effectively. This is an area for continued strategic refinement.